Being gay is not a crime, damn it! Uh, is she just stripping? I, why do I feel like something sinister is gonna happen? I'm so happy that he got to die of old age. Oh my god. He, it is insane. He is such a double crosser. Stannis, if you do this, I'm on, I'm never gonna like you, ever. Well, that guy just got burned alive, and we're not even... Are we sure? Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Natalie, and today we are getting back into more Game of Thrones. Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Thank you so much for being here, and welcome if you're new. Today we are diving into more Season 5 of Game of Thrones. So far, this season has been really interesting. It seems like the world is really falling apart um, for those who are in King's Landing, specifically the Lannisters. Not everybody is having a hard time of it, but a lot of people really do seem to be having a hard time, uh, which doesn't really surprise me because no one's addressing the real issues, and that is the fact that winter is coming and that there's a zombie army out there somewhere. That's Those are the real issues, but no one's addressing those. People are only addressing the fight for the throne still. So as dark and intense as this season has already been. I have a feeling it's only gonna get worse as this show goes on. But I've had a lot of fun watching certain characters grow up. Mainly Sansa and Arya in this season um, are so much older than they were when we first started this show. And to see their progression and maturation over the course of these past seasons based off of their experiences as characters has been really interesting. You know, we've watched a lot of characters go through intense arcs. People like Tyrion have developed a lot, Jaime. I don't know if I can say the same for Cersei. <laughs> she was a before, she's a now. She still has plenty of nuances to herself and I do understand why some of her walls are up. I do empathize with her sometimes, but she's, she's just, she's still a <laughs> We've seen a lot of characters risen and fallen, and I'm excited to see what happens in the rest of this show. But before we dive on into it, I just want to mention that I do have a Patreon page. I always link that in the description bar down below for all of you massive Game of Thrones fans who want to catch my full-length reactions to everything we watch over here, as well as vote in polls and help me decide what I watch next. And also make sure to follow me on my Twitter and Instagram. I always put those in the description bar below as well. And I do exclusive posts over there that I don't do anywhere else. But that's all I really have to say. I'm just excited to dive on into more episodes with you guys. So if you're ready, grab a drink, grab a snack, and let's get into the series. Wait, did Grey Worm not die? Or is he dead? I can't, no, he's breathing. He's not dead. Oh my God. I thought he died. The way they showed them at the... Oh, but he definitely died. Okay. All right. Hey. Round up the leaders of each of Marine's great families and bring them to me. I'm the leader of my family. Oh, no. are you going to kill this guy? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. What is she going to do? Are they in front of her dragon chamber? They are. They are. They're in the drag... They're in it! Does she even have proof that these men are the ones who are responsible? What about fair trials, Khaleesi? Daddy Drevi. Man, I feel bad for her dragons. They, they don't deserve to be locked up like this. It makes me sick every time I see it. Oh my God. There it is. Well, that guy just got burned alive and we're not even, are we sure if he was, if he deserved that? Is it good that we're feeding them humans? Do you really want to teach them that this is fine? Maybe. And this is how we're going to find out, Khaleesi? Tomorrow, perhaps. This still is no way for her dragons to live. I want them to get out and fly. Listen, I just, I really loved the movie How to Train Your Dragon, and this is just really depresses me, I'm not gonna lie. Oh. It's something I want to do, something I have to do, but it'll divide the Night's Watch. Oh God, what is it? But you don't know what it is. That doesn't matter. You do. Ha <laughs> ha! I love this guy. He just keeps it simple. Kill the boy. John Snow. Kill the boy. That's the title of the episode. And let the man be born. Oh, kill the... Oh. It's a metaphor for him, I see. The little boy in himself, I see. That's sad, though. Where are the rest of the free folk now? Is the order going to be to let these prisoners go? Gather the remaining free folk wherever they are and bring them back here. I'll open the gates for them and let them through. Oh, yeah. This is going to make everyone angry. Maybe you're just a coward. Well, he's definitely not a coward. He's, I think it's pride, but... Easy thing to say to a man in chains. Oh God, is he gonna unchain him and then get beaten up? <laughs> I am scared of this ginger, he's crazy. <gasps> is he gonna punch him? I'm so scared right now. Make peace 
To save your people. Yeah, John just cares about living people. <laughs> He's just like, listen, there's an army of dead zombies out there. I don't want more of them, and I want to save the living ones. We'll need ships. There's a sea north of the wall! Is it a frozen sea of ice? You're coming with me. Oh, shit. Oh, this is bad. Oh, they're not happy. Less enemies for us. Phew. He's correcting the grammar. Aw, oh, Stannis, you made me smile for once. Stannis, it's, it's, it's blowing my mind that like Stannis is just still here studying Jon Snow. <laughs> like, he's just been studying him this whole time. They butchered my mother. Everyone I ever knew. John's gotta feel so bad. He's like the bad guy right now. But he's right. He's the one making tough decisions. I'm so confused. Where are we? I know they were following Sansa, but is, is she looking at Winterfell or Moat Caitlin? I don't even know what things look like anymore. Oh, we're with this who's probably not happy that he's to marry Sansa. Oh, we're getting her name, Miranda. He's so hairless, it's weird. Do you think she's pretty? Of course I do. Oh God. Oh, you can't be, you can't lie to her, dude, really? Well, he's kind of a psychotic man, so he probably has a hard time <laughs> knowing how to be nice to her. Jealousy bores me. You remember what happens to people who bore me. Ooh, ooh, she's biting him. <laughs> ooh! Oh wow, the hatred in this girl's eyes. <laughs> she's giving a lot in this performance, I will say. I'm like scared for Sansa. <laughs> if you're ever in trouble, light a candle in the highest window of the broken tower. I love this old woman. She keeps looking at Sansa with these happy eyes, like, we remember, oh! I wonder what the broken tower is. Oh, is, the, is it where Bran was pushed out the window? <laughs> oh, this b is here, oh no. Don't let her befriend you, Sansa. She's not to be trusted. Who taught you? My mother. Oh, she doesn't trust her either. She gets sketchy vibes. There's something else. Oh boy, what is she gonna do? Down there, at the end. Theon. She's gonna show her Theon! This b is crazy. This b is cray cray. She's cray cray. Miranda, you're cray cray, but I kinda like you right now. I'm not gonna lie. Ooh, she's spilling the tea! Theon. You shouldn't be here. Well, Miranda brought her here. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. What's gonna happen? We are all a family. We northerners. You're not a northerner. Well, maybe you are, but you're not a real northerner. May our happiness spread from Moat Caitlin to- Moat Caitlin. I keep calling it Moat Caitlin, like Lady Ca Catlin. <laughs> uh, it's confusing. Are you still angry with him after he- Oh, she probably thinks that he burned and strung up her brothers, but he did it! He just killed, he burned innocent boys. Apologize to Lady Sansa for what you did. Man, she really just goes from one psychopath to the next. Joffrey to Ramsay. Tyrion was the only guy she was with that was lovely. I'm sorry. Sorry about what? He didn't actually kill your brothers. Killing your brothers? It's not true, it didn't actually happen. Poor f***ing Sansa, man. I wish she could just stick up for herself more, but it's hard to do that as a woman in this world if you're not, if you don't have a ton of power. We're going to have a baby. That's bad news for Ramsay. Oh, that's bad news for Ramsay. Sansa looks so f pleased about that. She's like, ha ha, you jerk. Oh boy, I don't know how this is all gonna work out with Stannis, I don't know. And with Jon and the wildlings going across a sea, a wintry sea. I am ashamed because when the knife go in, I am afraid. Oh. I fear. Is he afraid that he I hasn't? I never again see. Oh. He's afraid because he hasn't, oh, been open about how much he loved her. Oh. Guys, can you just kiss already? <laughs> she's so awkward. Oh, she's gonna lay beside him. Oh. Okay, good. Good, finally. Daria Naharis thinks I should kill the former masters and let the rest of the city fend for itself. <sighs> oh, she's asking her. I, I do love that she's kind of asking her. Yeah, come on, help her. And I have seen you ignore your counselors because there was a better choice, one that only you could see. What, what, what? Which choice are we talking? Wh ignoring the counselors, which time? Which time, what? I was wrong and you were right about tradition. Ah. Wow! I will reopen the fighting pits. And in order to forge a lasting bond with the Marinese people, I will marry the leader of an ancient family. Thankfully, a suitor is already on his knees. Him? What? I am so confused about what her long-term goal is. Like, I thought she wants to eventually get across the sea to Westeros. Why are you tying yourself up with all this stuff? I mean, I get it. She wants to follow through on what she started in Marine, but I just, marrying this guy seems like a weird choice, but I don't know. Let's... 
start over. It's so funny that most people don't really have a good time with Tyrion. I would have such a great time with him. I think he's hysterical. I like I like talkers who are witty, you know? What would make our time together truly enjoyable would be some wine. <laughs> he keeps bringing up the wine! He's like, please, I'm an alcoholic, please. For thousands of years, the Valerians were the best in the world at almost everything. Is this like a Roman Empire equivalent thing? And then they weren't. What happened? The doom consumed it all alike. The doom? What is the doom? Uh-oh, what is it? A dragon? Oh! <gasps> is it Drogon? Oh my god. Drogon. Don't kill these guys, Drogon. Okay, he doesn't care. He's just like, y'all, I'm flying. Uh-oh. Well, you guys were distracted by the dragon, and there's a- Oh, no. Oh, Jesus! Stone men! Sir Jorah, please don't let them touch you, please. I don't want you to die this way. Oh my god, why do they act like this? Really? Just from a dragon scale disease? They turn into literal monsters? It seems weird. <laughs> oh, <laughs> That's how we're ending the episode? It- is it? Is it? Is- Oh no, he got him? Oh my god, he got in. He got him. I was gonna say, we can't end the episode like that! Did any of them touch you? Well, one of them grabbed him by the leg, but I don't think they got his skin. You? Why do I feel like he's lying? He did get touched, didn't he? I feel like he got touched. Why do I feel like he got touched, you guys? He did, didn't he? No. Sir Jor, you gotta cut off the arm. You gotta cut it off. Or cut off your skin. <laughs> oh, Sir Jorah. That's a bummer, man. That's a massive bummer. Poor Sir Jorah. back with Arya? Can we finally get to figure out what the hell they're doing here? This is the cleanest we've seen her in so many seasons. She's gotta be so curious about it. Is she gonna sneak in there and see? What are they doing with the bodies? When it's time, not before. Oh god, great. What a wonderful answer. Man, it's gonna take her a while to be let in on whatever they're doing, I feel like. And where did you come from? Westeros. I'm the youngest daughter of a great lord. He died in battle. A lie. A man called the Hound. Sandor Clegane. I wanted him to suffer. I hated him. I hated him. <laughs> That's not a lie. I am so confused. Did she even tell a single lie? I mean, maybe like hating the Hound was kind of complex because she started to empathize with him by the end. So I could see how that would maybe be perceived as a lie, but. As miserable as you are, Mormont, at least your father was a good man. How do they put it in the watch? We shall never see his like again. Does he not know that his dad is dead? He didn't know. How did Tyrion find out? He must have gotten a letter from the wall or something. Oh God, oh geez. How? Oh, you don't wanna know. You don't wanna know how. Is that a little kid? It's a little girl. She suffers every day of her life. I just want it to end. Oh no, I don't think Arya is supposed to be the one to do this. It shouldn't be her, right? It's not supposed to be her. Oh God, is she doing something too soon? I'm worried. I used to be like you, I was sick. I was dying. Oh, she's lying right now. And I drank the water from his fountain. It healed me. I feel like she's not supposed to be doing this. I feel like she hasn't been trained for this yet. Isn't this just gonna kill her though? Uh-oh, he's watching, isn't he? Maybe this was a thing she had to do and it's okay? Oh God, I don't know. Is he telling her it's time by leaving the door open? Oh my God. Why do I feel like it's gonna be he like people strung up everywhere? <laughs> It's all their heads. Oh my God, this is disturbing. What happens when they run out of holes? A girl is not ready to become no one. This is so spooky. But she's ready to become someone else. Yeah, she's not ready to give up her hopes and dreams because she wants vengeance for her family. I don't think she wants to forget who she is, but it would help her if she could be disguised as somebody else. I wonder what's gonna happen. Oh boy. It's a slave ship. It probably came ashore. For slaves? Oh, goody. Oh, goody. Cut his throat. And then chop off his <laughs> The dwarf's <laughs> has magic power. And how could he know? Unless he sees the dwarf. It will be a dwarf-sized <laughs> Guess again. <laughs> he's like, I have a big <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> oh my God. Jesus Christ. He's got to think so fast. Poor Tyrion. Everybody just wants to kill him immediately because he's a dwarf. It's a poor dude. You're about to be rich. You are looking at one of the great warriors in the Seven Kingdoms. He's trying to get him to take him to where Daenerys is, isn't he? He won the tournament at Lannisport. 
unseating Sir Jamie Lannister himself. Is this true or is this all lies? I know he's a really good, I know he's a really good fighter, but. Oh, I killed a Dothraki blood rider in single combat. Oh, that's not a lie. Take me to Slaver's Bay, I'll prove my worth. These poor guys. Poor Sir Jorah's just gonna end up dying of that dragon scale disease anyway. This just sucks. Like maybe if they could have made it to a city and he could have gotten help from a doctor, maybe he'd be okay, but now he's just I'm the insulted party, Lord Baelish. Sir Loras was promised to me, instead he chose the company of boys. One's choice of companion is a curious thing. Oh, oh we're bringing that up again, aren't we? Oh God, ah, the tension! He once charged me with finding Arya Stark. Uh-oh. He's gonna admit that he has Sansa. But I have found Sansa Stark. This guy is so two-faced. He, it is insane. He is such a double-crosser. He has loyalty to absolutely no one. Literally no one. Like who? Does he even know what the truth is anymore? Like, does he even know what he wants? I'm just confused. Sansa helped murder my son. Roose Bolton is a traitor. She actually didn't murder your son at all. Actually, Littlefinger did. And the Tyrells. Perhaps I can help. The Knights of the Vale are some of the best fighters in Westeros. And if you succeed? Name me Warden of the North. And I'll know you're a man of your word when I see Sansa Stark's head on a spike. I live to serve. I don't know what he actually wants to do anymore. You've waited long enough. Oh, Marcella, you're screwed. You're screwed, Marcella. You're in a bad situation. We must protect them. Yes, my prince. Yeah, you gotta protect him good, cause the crazy woman is coming. And once we've got the princess, then what? I like to improvise. Oh God, uh, I'm worried that Jamie's gonna die. And I also just, I just feel so bad for Marcella because like, if it wasn't for like Oberyn's crazy lover, she would be totally safe and happy here. Oh no. Before Oberyn. Oh no, oh no, you crazy Oh no, oh no, you guys are crazy. You guys are so crazy. This is not the right decision. I know you're upset about Oberyn, I love him too, but killing Marcella is not the right move. It's not vengeance, okay? You wanna kill somebody? Kill the mountain. This is just cowardly. We weren't expecting you, Lord Jamie. Why don't you let them have some time alone, son? Oh God, I'm so scared that Marcella's about to get stabbed. Let's not do something stupid. <laughs> that was something stupid. Marcella, you're about to be killed. Oh, this is bad. Jamie's not a good enough fighter. Marcella, they're after you, you dumb bitch. You have no clue. Oh God, and what's her name is probably gonna come right around the corner, the crazy lover girl. She's probably gonna be the one that does the deed. Like you really think that the guy with the ax would come around right now. Drop your weapons. Oh, thank God. Oh, you can smell it from five miles away. Grandmother Tyrell, what's going on? I didn't imprison anyone. As for your veiled threats. What veil? Yeah, exactly. She ain't hiding <laughs> She's very forward. I didn't trust your father, but I respected him. He was no fool. Exactly. Tywin was annoying and horrible, but he was smart. You are aware of the rumors concerning you and Renly? Poor Loras. This is so sad. Being gay is not a crime, damn it! You never lay with Renly Baratheon. Nor any other man. Oh god, they're gonna bring in a witness, aren't they? They're gonna bring in the blonde boy from the brothel, aren't they? Faith. Calls Queen Marjorie forward. You call me forward? Yes, we have some questions for you. Wow, ugh, Cersei must love this I hate Cersei, I'm just ready for her to die, man. She is just so annoying. In the presence of the gods, do you swear that your brother is innocent of these charges against him? Yes, I swear it. Oh God, what are they gonna say? Are they just gonna imprison her as a liar? Like, I'm just worried. Yep, it's this blonde boy. Oh no, and he, oh no. <sighs> And he knows that Marjorie stormed in on them. Oh no, this is so bad. This is, does this mean Marjorie's gonna get thrown in jail? Like this is f***ed up. And we're just gonna take this guy's word and we're not gonna arrest him, right? We're just arresting Loras. We engaged in intimate relations. I mean, this guy's telling the truth, but still like- we... She walked in on us once, not long ago. She didn't seem surprised. Oh Jesus Christ. The faith is satisfied there is enough evidence to bring a formal trial for Sir Loras and Queen Marjorie. What? Wow, this is so f***ed up. Tommen! Tommen, you useless, you useless boy. Man, I am so f***ing glad I didn't live in a fucking place like that where they just force your religion on you and if you don't play by the God's rules, you know, you have to go to jail. It's like, oh God, I'm so glad I didn't live in a time like that. Have you ever seen a body after the dogs have been at it? Not so pretty. I'm Sansa Stark of Winterfell. This is my home. And you can't frighten me. Ooh, 
hoo, 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 hoo. Wow, I'm I'm happy finally seeing Sansa be a bad. Yeah, she doesn't want to marry Ramsay. Are you kidding me? Like, she's not happy about this, but she just has to. He said I'm to take your arm. I'm not touching you. He'll punish me. You think I care what he does to you? To be fair, Sansa really does think that he killed both of her brothers, so I would I would act the same. I'd probably act the same regardless anyway, because he still killed two little innocent boys. But he didn't kill her brothers. This is horrible. Oh, she's got to marry this prick. Tyrion was the best husband she ever had. I'm going to say it. Or the best person she was ever engaged to. Who gives her? Oh, he's going to say Rhee. Theon. <gasps> no, he's saying Theon. Who was her father's ward. Exactly. Will you take this man? Ugh. Every fiber in her being is screaming no. I take this man. Oh my god. They better not consummate, guys. This is gonna piss me off. Oh god, this is horrible. Can Stannis just get here already? Oh no, no, no. You stay here, Rick. You watch. Guys, I'm sorry. The two of you can take him. I would be like, no, he's leaving. I know he's a man, but you, you are taller than him. No. No. This is so sad. What an interesting precedent. I mean, uh, uh, to set for your wife. I think if I was like Sansa, I would honestly rather die. That performance by the actor who plays Theon though was great at the end there. That was, that was so sad. You could just, and Sansa too. Both of those actors just did such a great job in that episode because you could feel every fiber of her being shaking and screaming no during that wedding. Oh no, this is, oh, this is all the wildlings preparing to leave, huh? Is he back in chains? Didn't we uncuff him already? We're gonna uncuff him again. Dragon glass, smart. I didn't realize he still had one. Oh, I thought he gave it all to Bran. I didn't realize. Oh, Sam is the only one who like constantly supports him. And we back in Winterfell now. Oh, poor Sansa. Oh, poor girl. Help me. Oh, she's so bruised and battered. I hate it. My family still has friends in the north. All I need to do is give a signal and they'll rescue me. Oh, no. You shouldn't have told him. Oh, oh, because she's locked in here. He has to do it for her. Theon, promise me. He's just such a shattered man. I don't know if he's... I don't think he's gonna do it. I think he's gonna tell Ramsay. Why do I feel like he's not gonna do it? He's holding the candle out in the open. Oh, God. I don't know. I don't know. Is he gonna do it? Is he just gonna give it to Ramsay? Oh, my God. What is he doing? It looks like he's climbing to the top of the broken tower, but quite honestly, I feel like it's not gonna work. He's... Is, is he here? Yes, Reek. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Mother's looking for you. Oh, man. This is the first dude we're going to watch die of old age in this show. The only thing that's scared is if he dies, you got to burn him pretty quickly, huh? Oh. His name was Aemon Targaryen. Wow. I'm so happy that he got to die of old age. Oh, my God. I think the only other person who kind of died of old age was like Lady Stark's dad. <laughs> Most people are murdered or get sick or something crazy. You're losing all your friends, darling. Oh, Alistair, what are you threatening right now? Are they gonna kick Gilly out? Is that what he's threatening? Al Alistair, do you really have to continue to be a d I know you don't like John and you don't like Sam, but like, John has been so nice to you when he could have been such a d the second he became Lord Commander. <gasps> Sansa was let out of her chamber. Oh my God, what's happening? Did Reek, oh no, Theon told on her, didn't he? He totally did. Stannis Baratheon rides for Winterfell. She picked up that weapon so quickly. I've been naturalized by a royal decree from Tom and Baratheon, another bastard. Oh, oh, I love you, Sansa. Bastards can rise high in the world, like your half brother. Now the Lord Commander of the Night's Watch. Oh yeah, they would know because he signed a paperwork ex accepting recruits from the Boltons, right? That's why he would know. Your northern friend. Rick told me he wanted to leave. How did they figure out it was, oh, they flayed her, oh no. How did Theon even, did he Did he just torture everyone until he, f how did they figure out it was her? This is horrible. I cannot wait to see how Ramsay f dies, cause he will die at some point. I just have a feeling he will. He's so, such a prick. And he's not the smartest. Like there are people in this show who are evil, but they're smart, like Lord Bolton. Ramsay's not the smartest. He has made some impulsive decisions that make him look worse in certain moves, and then Lord Bolton berates him for it. So I'm just, I want Ramsay to die. I have shown you the power of King's blood. We don't have Robert's bastard here. No, we have someone better. His daughter? And your blood runs through her veins. No! No. Stannis, if you do this, I'm, on, I'm never gonna like you, ever. I don't care. Get out. Yeah, get the f out of here, 
Oh my God. If they kill that little girl, I will never ever forgive Stannis. <laughs> oh Jesus. Oh Jesus. <laughs> Sam, you're so useless. Oh my God. Oh my God, stop. Ah! Ghost. Did he let Ghost out or did Ghost, was Ghost just wandering the grounds at the right time? Sam, oh my God. You're not, you gotta work out more, man. You can't kiss him right now. Is what? Really? This scene is really awkward, I'm not gonna lie. Are we, we're gonna have now? All right. <laughs> I don't know, I'm not really feeling it between these, these two. Oh, he's really uh, breaking some vows here <laughs> at Castle Black. <clears throat> Stop whipping him, my God. He killed the great Khal Drogo. Oh, now we're lying? We're saying he killed Khal Drogo. Oh, are they gonna get separated? This is bad for Tyrion. You have to buy me as well. We're a team. I'm a great fighter too. Oh, poor Tyrion. Oh God. <laughs> oh, shit. oh, he really can pull out that anger when he needs to. All right, it's funny. Oh, good job, Tyrion. Good job. Oh my God, he he really is good at getting himself out of these situations. I will speak with the High Sparrow. There must be something. Let me talk to him on your behalf. <sighs> Tommen, Tommen, you can't trust her. I would do anything for you, anything to keep you from harm. Maybe she really is gonna try to reverse the charges, but I don't think she can. Maybe she feels bad now that she sees that Tommen actually loves her. And in reality, it was probably just a power play to be like, look, Marjorie. I, I, I don't know. Cersei's just such a, she's just such a controlling mother. She, like if she was in the real world, she'd be that controlling mother that wouldn't want to let any of her kids move away from home. Threats have been made. I've come to take you home. This is my home. This has been my home for years. Oh. I'm going to marry him and we're staying right here. Oh, Marcella. Yeah, she's like, I've been gone for years. I love it here. The Donishman's taken my life. Oh, they put Braun in a worse cell. Are you kidding me? They treated Jamie wonderfully. Oh, she's smiling him at him. Oh my God. Dornish women are the most beautiful women in the world. Thank you. I said Dornish she... women. Oh. I didn't say you. Ah! Rude. Name one more beautiful than I am. In King's Landing, there was an absolutely oh. gorgeous... <laughs> her friends are rolling their eyes at her. It's so funny. Oh, God, I'm worried. What's she going to pull out? I'm, I, is she just stripping? I, why do I feel like something sinister is going to happen? Did they poison him? They poisoned him. My dagger was coated with a special ointment from Ashai. The only antidote. Oh, jeez. Please give it to him. Who's the most beautiful woman in the world? Oh, come on. You. Give it to him. Don't drop it. Oh, oh geez. Wow. Holy I think you're very handsome as well. Oh my god. What a bad <laughs> He is lucky that their cells were right across from each other. <laughs> oh my god, that was pretty scary. That our fates are joined. Together oh. we murdered a king. If my house should fall, I will have nothing to hide. I have a gift for you. Oh boy. The same kind I gave Cersei. A handsome young man. A handsome young man. Wait, what did she give? What did he give Cersei again? This is the day your lives actually start to mean something. Ugh. I hate it when people talk to slaves this way in movies. It's like you didn't know what their lives were like before you f captured them and decided to tell them that they were a slave. Oh God, Sir Jorah, all he wants to do is just get in front of Daenerys again. She has no idea what she's gonna see today. Oh my God. Stand straight. Stand straight, that's the queen. <laughs> I at least like that this guy is very impressed. Oh, now he's gonna hear that the queen's out there. Sir Jorah, is he gonna break out there and start fighting? What's he gonna do? Oh, the gate's open. Oh my God. Oh my God, Sir Jorah, is he gonna kill this man? Does she recognize him? She already looks so taken aback. Oh, poor Tyrion is chained to this bench. He can't even watch. Why did they chain him to the bench? Come on, get it out of there, Tyrion. You can do it. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my, Tyrion. Oh, come on. Oh, he's helping him? Oh, good job. Oh, nice man. Oh, nice man. Unexpected. <laughs> Is he done? He defeated them all that easily? Get him out of my sight. I just need a moment of your time. Oh, come on. It's true. Oh, Tyrion freed himself. Oh, wow, this is so theatrical. I am the gift. I am the gift. <laughs> oh my God, he had to fight so hard to get out and admit that to her, not knowing whether or not she'd want him killed, but just hoping that it would work for both of them, like that, would, that it would work out for both of them. <laughs> oh God, Marjorie, this is horrible. Oh, f 
Cersei's here, of course. Great. Lovely. This is wonderful. I hate seeing her smug little face, man. Wait, how boss would it be if Sir Lancel... Well, I guess he said he wasn't going to... Isn't that up that he said he wasn't gonna tell that Cersei tricked him into killing Robert. It's just messed up that Cersei doesn't end up in jail for that. Their lies knocked down, their true hearts laid bare for all to see, and so it will be for all of us. Mm hmm. Right. I would love it if this all came back to bite Cersei in the ass, too. What will we find when we strip away your finery? Ah, there's the threat. There it is. Aha. Young man came to us not long ago. Aha. Broken in body and spirit. Yep, her cousin. See what happens? Karma, b Maybe you shouldn't come after the Tyrells when you have so many f skeletons in your closet, eh, b And he has much to say about you. Is he coming in now? Cue his entrance? Yep, there he is. Wow, they're so theatrical, these guys. Look at my face. It's the last thing you'll see before you die. One thing that I've really been enjoying in these last couple episodes is just seeing what things come back around in an ironic way. This episode had a lot of karma infused into it, specifically with characters like Cersei giving power to this religious institution that prides itself on equality based off of the rules of the religion and the laws of the gods. And she herself has broken so many of these rules, and she was only so focused on getting back at the Tyrells that she didn't think about the skeletons in her own closet and how this would come back around to bite her in the ass. So I was really happy to see that. I also thought it was really ironic to see Ser Jorah <laughs> captured as a slave, considering he used to be a slave trader. So um, definitely some karma there, even though I love Ser Jorah and I didn't want to see him in that position. Uh, it definitely is probably fair because he used to do that. It's really fun to see all of these different characters colliding in different ways now. People like Tyrion colliding with Daenerys, seeing Littlefinger interact with Lady Olenna, even though we've known that they've interacted previously, actually getting to watch them in a scene together. There's just a lot of moments where we're watching scenes between these powerhouse characters who are either so powerful because of their ego or so powerful because they just own themselves. We definitely have a lot of characters who I think need to be taken down a peg. And so in a way, I almost like this religious group. I just don't like the laws that they stand for when it comes to, you know, homosexuality and stuff like that. I just, I mean, that's just horrible. Like let people be who they need to be. That's, you know, so I obviously don't like the laws of the religion and I don't agree with religious persecution and enforcing one religion on a whole area. I don't, I'm not a fan of that, but I do think it's kind of refreshing to see this representative of the people rise up and be able to take all of these royal rich people down a bunch of pegs because they've just been so out of touch with reality for so long and they've cared so little about the people and now the people have been given this power. So I do think that that's really interesting, especially given the fact that winter is coming and White Walkers are coming. <laughs> Uh, it's definitely going to make for an interesting next few seasons, I think. I really wonder what's going to happen with <laughs> Cersei and with the Tyrells in jail. really wonder how their trials are all going to go. I also think it's ironic that Cersei now, after forcing Tyrion through this false trial where he didn't even commit the crime that he was accused of, now she's being accused of stuff she actually did do and is going to be put through a trial herself. I'm, I've just been waiting for her to get some karma coming her way. And so I'm really happy uh, with this ending, to be quite honest. But we've got three more episodes left of this season. It's definitely been flying by already. Stannis is on his way to Winterfell. I'm a little nervous about that because uh, his troops aren't doing too well. And I hate the Boltons so much. I just really want the Boltons to be gone. Um, and I also just don't want Stannis' daughter to get murdered. I wish we could just do those two things together. I guess we'll see what happens. I definitely see what you guys have been saying. Some people uh, who've been reiterating that this series is really dark. It started off pretty dark and it's only getting darker. I mean, we've got so many religious themes that are kind of creepy, not only with the seven gods or the high septon, but also even in Bravos with the faceless god or the man of many faces, whatever he's called. 
with uh, that whole temple of heads. That was disturbing. So, yeah, there's just a lot of dark, eerie stuff going on. And I'm excited to see how they wrap out this season. And after that, we only have three more seasons. So that's crazy. The further we dive into this, the more and more I just get overwhelmed. <laughs> I feel like watching this show, there are just so many characters in this show and so many different stories that it really is easy to stay engaged and interested in this show. And it's easy to keep watching it. So I'm excited to see what happens with the rest of this season. But for now, that's all I have for you guys in this video. So if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up because it really helps me out and it lets me know that you guys wanna see more content like this. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and anything else you might like me to watch next and subscribe if you want to. Till the next one, stay golden, bye.